Hi crafty friends, it's Donna here and I've got a couple of cuties for you today. We're going to be using an embossing folder for the background and looking at some techniques for making furry fur using Copic markers. show you some colouring footage at double speed while we talk through it. If you want to look at the footage at normal speed, go to the three little dots in the top right hand corner and if you press on those you have an option called playback speed and you can slow it down. So in order to make a little furry bear, I'm first going to colour him normally with Copics. I don't need to worry too much about exact perfect blending because it's all going to get disrupted later anyway. The only thing I would say about this is that you should use colours that are perhaps a little darker than what you would usually use. And once this bear was coloured, I actually went back over the top with a darker set of colours because I realised that it might end up a little bit too bleached. This technique for making fur is something that I learned from Sandy Olnock and I'm really grateful for the tip that she shared. I just have a little two inch square of toweling in my craft room. At least I did. After this project my husband was very surprised to find a small square cut out of one of our hand towels. Put a little bit of Copic blending solution onto the towel and then rough up the nap of the towel. When only those loops touch the paper, that's where the colour will be bleached and lightened by the colourless blender. And that's what's going to give the texture. It's better to sit on it for a few seconds. I was a little timid at the beginning. And then when you lift it off, just let it sit. It will slowly fade out. And if you need to do more, you can always go back in again later. I use the same technique on both bears, the brown and the blue. I used a fine black marker to fill in the noses and then added a little highlight with white gel pen. And so that the card wouldn't get too busy, I coloured the wagon in lighter shades in the same family as the bear. Okay, let's get this card together. I'm going to stamp part of a sentiment from this set and I've cut it in half. And I thought I'd share a little tip that I use when I cut the stamps in half. And that is I don't cut them with a straight line. Wherever possible, I try to angle my scissors in and out. 
That way it's really obvious exactly where things will fit back together, like a little jigsaw. I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment in white and slice it down to size. The background for this card has two parts. I've used the buffalo plaid embossing folder and run a piece of white paper through my cutting machine with that. And then the ground was cut from a strip of paper from the year round plaids paper pack. I've layered that up onto some grey cardstock before putting it onto my card base and I've tucked the little sentiment at the back of the wagon. That's all for today's card. Feel free to like this video, feel free to subscribe, feel free to walk on by. It's all okay. Stay safe. I look forward to sharing another card with you soon. Bye for now.